There are plenty of options for classes available here at DJ, and one thing that most of them have in common is that there's an AP course available. AP stands for Advanced Placement that's developed by the College Board to give us high schoolers an introduction to college level classes and gain college credit beforehand. On today's show, we'll be covering with the AP Econ and Gov class, discussing the benefits of AP, and discussing with a student involved in these courses. ENN starts now. AP classes we offer here range from all different sorts of electives to core classes, like for example, AP Econ and Gov. This class provides an analytical perspective on government and politics. So let's take a further look into this with Tran. My name is Aaron Itrola. I teach AP Econ, Macroeconomics, AP U.S. Government and Politics, and World History. I like teaching AP Econ and Gov because it's, it's a challenge. A lot of the students, it's stuff that they're they don't realize they're really familiar with finance and all that stuff. They haven't been exposed to it that much, so it's it's fun because they can apply it to real world applications and stuff. And then government, obviously, with voting and civil rights, civil liberties, court cases, kids get into it and they can apply it to their everyday life. So that's what's cool about it. Well, the real world benefits are, I mean, there's a, numerous things of taking econ and gov. I mean, you can apply it, like I said earlier, financial situations, personal finance. You can learn what's happening in politics, what the, how the government's reacting on court cases, how it can affect your day-to-day -day life. I mean, it's really, it's fascinating how many different things with economics and government that it affects your day-to-day -day living. I always tell the students it's not physics, it's not calculus, it's not, all these other classes are a lot harder than this. It seems worse than it is and what, it's more of an effort class so if you're one that gives the effort and you can, you're willing to put in the work, you can do well in either of these classes. AP classes can have a great advantage when entering the college environment and are even offered here on campus. AP stands for Advanced Placement and is implemented by the College Board to help students get college credits in high school. Their benefits and rigorous courses have gotten the attention of many, and by passing the AP exam, you're eligible to receive a college credit. And if you don't pass, the quality of the course itself is enough to help growing minds and the challenges of everyday life. If you think AP courses are right for you, make sure to get in contact with your guidance counselor to enroll. Since it's the beginning of the year and we're still learning about their benefits, let's hear from someone who's taken quite a few with Riley. Many students such as myself take various different AP classes for many different reasons. Today we'll be talking to one of our students about how many they're taking, why they're taking them, what they're taking, and if they recommend them to other students. I'm Nadia and I'm taking three AP classes. I'm taking AP Language and Composition, AP Seminar, and AP U.S. History. AP Language and Composition is just a English class, AP U.S. History is just a history class, and AP Seminar is for research. I take college courses for college credit. It would make my college less expensive, and also I take it for GPA, since college courses add more to it. I would recommend college courses because of GPA and college factors, but you have to be ready for a more in-depth and less hand-holding experience. It was amazing to get an insight into the educational life of one of our fellow students. Let's get an insight into the school life with the announcement. Hope this gave you more detail into taking an AP course. I'm Taylor, signing off for ENN.